Coming out on the counter, you start noticing the little fruit flies. I always start noticing them when I sit down to have a glass of wine. For whatever reason, they're like attracted to that. Well, here is a non-toxic way and a very cute and charming and adorable way to trap and take care of those fruit flies and add a nice little decorative decorative touch to your kitchen island and your kitchen for only $21. This is from Plow and Hearth. It's a refillable ceramic fruit fly trap. It's the fly trap or the fruit fly motel and they don't check out. <laughs> $21 is that sale price. And you also are going to get this shipped to you for free. So what a beautiful addition to your kitchen. Now check these out because Plow and Hearth does do a variety of different fruit fly traps, but I think these are absolutely adorable. Okay, so here's your pineapple, which is so cute and such a beautiful symbol of hospitality. And then we have this adorable apple. And then down in front, we do have a pear, most limited in the pear. And then we also have this adorable, sweet little peach. Okay, all your choices are going to ship to you for free, but Plow and Hearth has been a brand. Um, they're out of Virginia. They've been around since the 80s, and they bring us these really high-quality, beautiful details. But let me show you exactly how this works, because first and foremost, you're going to make a simple, non-toxic recipe. It's one part apple cider vinegar, one part water, and a splash of dish, dish detergent or soap. And then you mix that together. You're going to pop that all inside. Now, you tilt your little fruit to the side or your ceramic container and you don't need very much it's just enough to fill the bottom but it's elevated so your little fruit flies like oh hey this this looks like a nice place to hang out they get drawn in and then they see oh look uh, infinity pool and then they don't leave and that's it <laughs> and that is end story but the great thing about this is you've done it without chemicals and then you don't have to see what's happening inside of the trap, right? It just looks like this beautiful decorative ceramic piece, but here you can see that's where your fruit flies go in. It's almost like a little volcano vessel right inside. You don't need to film it or fill it very much. There you can see it's only about a tablespoon of water, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and a splash of your dish soap to add in. And that's your non-toxic. If, if you forget the recipe, don't worry. Um, it, Nancy includes it, um, so it's all in here, um, so you don't have to worry. You do get that from Plow and Hearth as well. And it's just a matter of which, which one you'd love to add. I'd say if you have a little bit of a bigger space in your kitchen, maybe one goes on that center island or on your little breakfast table, and then you have another one in the corner um, of the kitchen as well. But here's what I'd like you to do. First, run the garbage disposal take out the trash and remove the fruit bowl. <laughs> so we wanna get rid of all of those sources and then set up your trap. And then your fruit flies will not be a problem. Here is going to be your pineapple. We also then have this adorable apple, which I just think is so sweet, that bright red. Um, when my husband and I were first dating, we've been married now almost nine years, coming up at the end of the month, he used to call me apple, it was quite sweet. Um, here then is your pear but it only, you only get one of the pear. See what I did there? Okay, and then your um, <laughs> sweet peach, which I think is so cute. Peach has been really popular as well, so $21, um, or free shipping and handling as well. It's M64881 is gonna be your item number, but I don't know about you. I mean, the second that you start seeing fruit flies in the house, it's so frustrating. And you try to catch them or you feel like you're doing the like air slap, right? Like all over the kitchen. And the worst is when you finally sit down to have a meal and you notice one is like floating around your favorite beverage or you can't quite catch it. This is that perfect way. This really is, this is like to a fruit fly, this is like the happiest place on earth. They can not resist it. And when you create that non-toxic um, potion, we'll call it, um, yeah, that even more. They are so drawn to the combination of the water, the vinegar, and the dish soap. The recipe is included, but it's a way for you to do it that one is non-toxic, and then truly, you don't have to see it, right? You don't have to see the bowl. I would recommend just every couple of days or so, um, simply rinsing that out. You can put in a little bit more um, of your non-toxic uh, fill that you're gonna make right in your own kitchen. But what's nice about this is 
you really just don't have to worry about it. And take a look at exactly how this works because see how it's a little lifted off the ground? It's that way for a reason. So we'll show you a little animation because here's where your fruit flies are gonna check in. So you put your solution just right on the bottom. You'll tilt it to the side so it fills almost the um, side of the volcano inside that ceramic carrier. Your fruit flies go, ooh, this looks like a nonstop buffet. They jump in, they explore, they say, they go for a little swim. Yeah, and then they're not checking out. Nada, not leaving. And end story. And end of problem for you, right? And then every couple of days, you'll simply rinse this out. So I think such a great opportunity for you to make sure um, that you're taking care of some of those pesky little pets, whether it's the pineapple, that sweet little apple, our pear, or our peach from Plow and Heart. They always do such a lovely job of adding these things to our home. Hey, now maybe you're spending a little bit more time outside and you're realizing I could use a little added 